I had to try and make sense of the man, uh, make sense of what he did. Um, and although that it does seem an impossible task, you have to contemplate those things. You have to sort of let them run through your mind, almost uh, take over your mind by considering what it must have been like to do that. Um, um, nobody plays a character hating that character. So um, Adolf Hitler didn't walk around hating himself or thinking of himself that he was the, the world's most hated figure, or most evil figure. And so it's the same with Peter Sutcliffe. Peter's a lack of compunction was something that fueled uh, my progression of Alec. Somebody that's killed 13 women, I suppose many people will call him a monster. Um, the things that he did were monstrous. I thought there were similarities between Peter and Alec. Um, was he ill? Was he a paranoid schizophrenic? Um, if he was, does that somehow, um, does he somehow not have the burden of what he did? Um, absolutely not. Saying sorry wouldn't have proved anything in Alec's mind. It was a matter of paying for their crime. Uh, but then at the same time, if it's a mental illness, and that's going to have played some part in, in what he did. His artistic side comes out in this film, which I find interesting. Um, and Alec found bewildering, purely because he doesn't have it. He can't empathize with it. It's, uh, it's, it's as much of an enigma to him as Sutcliffe is. Obviously, I feel repulsed um, by the things that he did. Um, and I think, I think that's the overriding uh, thing that I feel.